Okay, so now you have seen how you can add your default permission, which is already created by AWS. But what if you want to create your own roles and policy and assign to this particular user? So how you can do that? So uh, again, remember, I'm just going to use the same user, but this time I'm just going to create my own custom policy for that particular user. Okay, so here again into the IAM section, go to the roles over here and here first of all we need to create a role and that role uh, inside that role we need to create a policy but just just keep in mind we are just gonna first create a role so here just click on create role and here i'm just gonna put uh, aws service okay and the use case uh, i'm just gonna put uh, as three over here and click on next over here and here there are permission policies so i'm just not gonna use any of these click on next role name uh, i'm just gonna put allow s3 access okay uh, description if you want to add something then just please do go ahead and add something and here you can see this is the default uh, trust policy uh, which we are gonna see later again also but uh, just keep in mind that this is the role which i'm just going to create first of all so here go ahead and click on create role okay so now we have only created a role and this role uh, doesn't have any policies yet so if you go and search over here then allow s3 then click on this s3 over here then you can see the permission page this permission section is completely empty so this is just a role and it this role is empty so whenever we work with the custom uh, policies then you just need to create a role first and inside that role you need to assign the policy okay so we have just created a role but that role is completely empty now we need to create a policy over here so what you can do either uh, you can go to this uh, here you can see here is the role this is the custom role and here in the permission section you can create a add permission or attach policy so from here also you can create a policy or else if you are not interested from here then also what you can do again in the left section of IAM section so again go to I am over here click on over here and here you will find a policy so you can go ahead and click on this policies click on create policies and uh, here what you can do uh, i personally uh, recommend to use a json document so here you can see this is the json document and these are the format which you need to follow so here on the my notepad i have already created one policy so i'm just going to copy and paste it over here but anyway i'm just going to uh, type it over here allow s3 access so this is the sid effect is allow i'm just trying to allow everything so and the action i'm just gonna copy it from my notepad and paste it over here which is this one so i'm just trying to allow all the s3 accesses and the resources any specific s3 no i just wanted to allow all the s3 so what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna remove some extra double quotes over here and uh, i'm just gonna put star colon sorry star colon star over here okay or maybe i just i'll just put star that should be okay okay so yeah that was a syntax error so i just need to put a star so now i'm allowing all the s3 access to uh, whatever policy uh, this uh, this is going to be assigned to a user okay so i'm just creating a policy over here i'm not assigning to anyone so it is just a policy creation which i'm doing right now okay click on next over here and here you can see uh, i need to enter the name of the policy so i'm just gonna put uh, custom s3 allow okay so this is the name of the policy i'm just gonna put and then i'm just gonna click on create policy okay so now policy has been created so till now what we have done we have created first role and now we have created a policy but now we need to attach both of these role and policy okay so what you need to do you again go back to roles from the left hand side over here and go to the role which is uh, allow s3 access so this is the role and here you can see this permission section is empty so go over here and attach policy because we have just created our policy so click on attach and here search for that policy which is custom uh, yeah 
so it should be like custom sorry and here you can see this is the uh, custom s3 allow policy just select that one click on add permission and here you can see that custom policy has been added if you expand this one and here you can see the policy content over here all right then after that uh, what you need to do you just need to i think you don't need to do anything we have just attached that policy to that particular role here you can see the policy has been successfully attached to that role all right so let's let's rewind back again so again go to aws home page uh, select i am select i am then go to the roles and then select the role that is allow s3 and this is the role which we have created and after that we have attached this particular policy which you can see over here all right and again go back to the use case uh, like the test user demo which we have created so let's open that one also i'll just drag that page here uh, just give me a second and here you can see so here you can see the permission has been denied so if i do any uh, any s3 uh, activity then it is like permission denied all right so i'm just going to drag this thing again over here so now what we need to do we just need to assign this custom role and policy to that particular user so for that again go to the users over here go to the test user demo and here you can see the policy section is completely empty so click on add permission and here you can see add uh, permissions over here and here you can see attach policy directly so this is the option so select that one and here you will find that particular policy also okay uh, here uh, we are just trying to attach that particular policy which we have just created so just go over here and type custom and you should be able to see that particular policy just select that one click on next and then click on add permission and here you can see we have just attached that particular policy okay so remember uh, we have created the role and inside that role we have attached that particular policy but for this particular user we're just attaching the policy but here i'm just trying to play along with the three things one is the i am user i am role and i am policy okay so these are the three entities or three things which i have been trying to play around all right now we have attached this particular policy to that user let's go back to our browser and just try to refresh this page again and here you can see we are again able to view the content of my s3 bucket and all the s3 buckets are visible now so this is how you can create your own custom policies roles and assign those policies to that particular user and then that user will be able to view the uh, whatever uh, service uh, has been assigned into that particular permission document or IAM policy. So this is how you create your custom IAM roles, policies and assign to that particular user.